welcome back to another vlog. It is Saturday and we have a fun weekend ahead of us so I thought I would bring you guys along. Um, this morning me, my mom, and Raina are going to go get some plants for the garden. So all of our like vegetables and all that good stuff. We're going to go get those and then my sourdough is rising so I'm going to prep some bread to bake for tomorrow and I don't know what else major we have, but I'm sure something will come up. I will show you guys my hair. I did this new heatless curls technique last night and it was such a dud. They turned out terrible. I've done like heatless curls before that are okay, but I haven't found one that like I absolutely love. But these turned out terrible. So my hair is up, which is fine because I think it might rain, but yeah, that is the plan. When I get home, I'll show you guys um, all my garden plans. Like I planned where each vegetable will go, which box will have each vegetable, fruit, whatever, and um, laid it all out. So I'll show you that when we get home. home from the nursery that was wild I have never been somewhere with so many plants in my entire life I was so overwhelmed and luckily my mom was there to help me out because there was so much going on and it was so busy it's a Saturday so but we had fun we had it was me my mom and rain and we just had such a good time so I got just about everything I needed to there is just a couple things I'm gonna plant from seed that obviously I don't need a plant for um but I did get some so like carrots and green beans I did get some that were already a plant so I'll have them at different like times of the summer so but I wanted to show you guys the plan that I was working on I did this like two weeks ago I think and I like laid out all my veggies and all that good stuff so I'll show that to you okay I should have showed you guys this before I went to the place because it kind of got beat up but so I laid out my six beds and then in each bed it has you know what's going to go in there and kind of in what direction and all that good stuff so it turned out super cute and then on the way there I just planned out like how many of each plant I would need so when I was going I knew how much I needed to shop for. The other night I planted some strawberries that my dad had. He had a couple extra so I went ahead and planted them and then I got a couple more at the nursery too and those are going to be like different ages as well so I might end up planting those tonight just so all my strawberries are done and I can check something off the list and I'm just so excited. Strawberries are fine with a little bit of like chili or temps so I know those ones are safe and same with like carrots and onions. I know those are safe, so I'm okay to plant those. But um, also, I wanted to update you guys on my starter. Are you guys ready for this? Look at him. So my starter did not make it. Um, I have to be so careful because I don't want all her bubbles to pop when I set her down. My starter did not make it and I think it was because I was using Pillsbury flour and it is bleached and you, can, you can't use that. You have to use unbleached flour and purified water and I didn't know that at the time until I went to the store and I was like, oh no, all the Pillsbury is bleached and it wasn't growing like it should have. So it smelled right, but it wasn't, it wasn't doubling in size. I was feeding it. I was doing all the things she wasn't taking off. 
and then one of my friends actually saw my vlog and she's like oh my gosh i'm actually doing sourdough too she's like my starter took off and she gave me some so this is like a family friends starter that she shared with me this starter is thriving she like peaks in about three to four hours so i'll feed her and then she's ready to go and the bread typically takes like two days to make so i've only made one loaf and she did turn out fairly well she needed to cook a little bit longer i think and i needed to like score it deeper like i need to work on that but the flavor was good and she wasn't super dense or anything so i'm gonna try to make my second one i also made sourdough like soft pretzels i'll insert a picture here but those turned out pretty good but they were only good fresh so i am still learning and it just is honestly like trial and error so for this one i'll, I'll do some more like stretching folds they call them and that's to help like build the gluten and make it nice and like airy and all that stuff so i'm gonna try to do that with this one versus the other recipe i did you needed the dough for like 10 minutes versus doing stretch and fold so just gonna try that out but i thought i would kind of show you guys a little bit of the process i'm so grateful she donated it it's so good so before i left it was about here and then it's grown that much i moved my marker up here to see if she's gonna peak anymore if she's at her peak so if she starts to sink i'll feed her one more time and then she'll peak around eight o'clock and then i'll make i'll get my dough going because then it will rest for like eight to ten hours <laughs> there's so much planning involved i i knew there would be a lot of planning but it's very like counting your hours and seeing when you're going to be home and all that good stuff but i thought i would update you guys on that as well I have tea and he wants to go outside so I think I might go outside and plant those strawberries with tater and hopefully come in and just take a little rest so I decided not to plant the strawberries but I did plant my onions so these are like sweet onions white onions and then red onions and then on this line we'll have cucumbers and then this line will have all of our carrots look at this beautiful sunset Oh, it doesn't even do it justice. It's so pretty. I'm gonna get started on the bread. I just wanted to show you guys how lengthy this recipe is. So just look at this. Oh my gosh. Oh. But it should be good. Oh my gosh, it's only getting better. It is so pretty. Oh, so beautiful. my dough over there and it's gonna do it's like final rise it's like big rise so instead of doing I know I mentioned earlier that I was gonna do like stretch and fold methods but instead of doing that I'm gonna leave it out overnight on the counter um, when I put it in the fridge it never like doubled in size so I'm going to leave it out overnight in the counter and see if that helps it double in size and I also covered it with saran wrap instead of a towel so um i'll like tweak that first and see if that makes a difference that's what i did when i did my pretzels and it worked really well so i'm gonna try that for the bread and then it will rest for about 10 hours so i will wake up at six and i'll dump it out shape it up and then it has to rest again for 
I don't know if it's two hours or 20 minutes, the recipe's over there, but there's so much planning to do, but it's fine. Hopefully this one turns out a little bit better. Um, and then yeah, I was gonna plant the strawberries, but they had been in a greenhouse and I didn't want to like shock them too much and bring them right from the greenhouse, plant them outside. So I have them outside now, but I might bring them inside. I don't know. It's supposed to be down to 40 tonight. So I don't want to like, I just don't want to kill the plants. I'll probably bring them in, in the garage. And then I'll let them sit outside again tomorrow. And then maybe later this week I'll plant them. But yes. Yeah. That is the plan. Me and Rain are gonna go get ready for bed and we will see you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is the next morning and here's my dough. It looks so good. It got so much bigger. It smells so good. I'm gonna go ahead and shape it out into its loaf and then it has to rest again. <laughs> The next day, I have Raina back here. Raina, say hi. Nothing. Raina and I are gonna go to church with my friend Dee and her daughter, and um, it's a new church. We've never been there before, which makes us really like anxious, so we'll see how it goes. But we have church in about 10 minutes, and um, when I get home, we'll bake the bread. She is in her flower proofing bowl resting in the fridge and we will score and bake her when we get home. We are back home from church. That was fun. It's always really nerve-wracking going to a new church. Just And they're so welcoming and it's never like a bad experience. It just is like, you feel like such an outsider. I don't know, but it's really fun. Like I encourage you to like bop around churches because they all have a different vibe and it's fun. We are back and it is time to do the bread. The moment we've all been waiting for. Um, I have the oven preheating with the Dutch oven in there, and then um, I'm just gonna score the bread and throw it in. I can't wait, and then I'll cook for like an hour or so, and then it'll have to cool, and then we can eat it, maybe <laughs> like dinner time. <laughs> oh my goodness, but yes, I'm gonna go score it and throw it in the oven. Here she is, she's all cooked up. She is a little bit darker than the last time, which was good, because I was wanting it to get a little more cooked. But over here, she's all like bumpy because she was a little too wide for the pot, I think. And when I picked this up, it bent her, but she looks good. The hardest part now is cooling it before you can eat it. <laughs> oh. My gosh, this bread is so good. I tweaked a couple things from the last time I baked it and it was so much better. I was really nervous when I was taking it out of like the proofing bowl because it kind of like stuck to the thing and had me nervous, but it turned out so much better. It has such a nice crispy edge, which is so good. I'll show you guys. There's only, there's only a little bit left because 
I ended up eating like three pieces and then um, I brought some over to my brothers and my dad had some and Keith had some, so. Which is good, because it only lasts for, it only lasts for like a day. It's so much better fresh, but um, let me Ooh. show you guys how crunchy the edge is. Hold on one second. Only little chunk that's left, but um, it is so like, it has such a nice crunchy outside and the inside turned out so good. So good. <laughs> Alrighty, I think I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. I still have to, we still have to eat supper and I still have to finish up the laundry, get all the sheets on the bed. <laughs> so I still have a lot of running to do, but um, it's just boring stuff. So in my next vlog, I wanna to talk to you guys about, I got this new deep conditioner treatment that I've been loving. So I'll share that with you guys next week but tonight we are just kind of going to get our jobs done and relax thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next one bye guys mm -hmm.